Hey, welcome back. Uh, listen, my wife uh, travels around here and there sometimes, to, you know, taking the kids places, going places, things like that. And when she travels, she asks me what I want uh, for bourbon and I, I give her some suggestions. And, and this time she brought me back these. And we're going to talk about these bourbons right after this. All right, guys, full disclosure, I shot a video, forgot to turn the recorder on. I don't want to bring you subpar audio, uh, so I'm going to reshoot this. But the reason I said these bourbons is because of this right, y'all. Um, my wife actually picked these up at a place called D's uh, Wine and Liquor in Knoxville, Tennessee. And the reason that's important is because this one happens to be a Yellowstone hand-picked collection, and this uh, barrel was uh, hand-selected by D's Wine and Liquor in um, Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, this one, we're gonna save for later, just so you know, Heaven's Door. This is the one that, that Bob Dylan, you know, endorsed or whatever. Um, of course, he, he doesn't distill it. It's like the Matthew McConaughey Longhorn, you know, or Long Branch, I mean. Um, but this is Heaven's Door Cast Strength, 126 proof, 63 ABV, but we're gonna slide that right over here. I already have these poured. This is this one, and this is the regular Yellowstone Select. Now, I already had this bottle, and I wanted to see what's the difference between them. Now, the big difference between them off the bottle is this one's 93 proof, and this one's 115 proof. So there, there's quite a bit more proofing. But having already tried these and shot an entire video and I signed off with like and subscribe and all of that. And by the way, if you haven't done it, go ahead and hit the like button down there and subscribe to me. Hit the bell so you get future notifications and you know when I come out with my review of Heaven's Door over there. But for this one, I can tell you they're, they're night and day worlds apart. Uh, Yellowstone over here grassy, earthy. I fell in love with it. Now it's a little light, uh, you know, on, on the proofing and a little light on the notes, uh, but get some really good uh, notes out of it. Mm. And it's familiar Yellowstone. Drinkable. Very easy drinkable. This more complex extremely complex bourbon this one wow deep dark notes not just the proofing this is this is not just about the proofing mm. holy moly that's good and i like i said I, I, I full disclosure i was trying it I'm going to hang on to this bottle. I just poured some more. I had finished these. <laughs> so if I'm a little bit uh, freewheeling here, it's because I'm on my th uh, third and fourth uh, snifter here. So, but but you've seen me do the bar fight series. Um, but yeah, this D's Wine and Liquor. Um, and if you want to know the history on Yellowstone, you can go back and look at it. It was 1880s, somewhere along in there. And then uh, during Prohibition, they stayed alive and for medicinal purposes only. So it wasn't one of those that got shut down. Uh, it's changed hands several times, but in 2015, uh, one of the Beam, uh, Stephen Beam, uh, got back involved to revive the brand. And um, long story short, uh, it's, I believe the juice in these bottles are being produced by Heaven Hill. So, and it's a, a one mash bill blend of different ages of bourbons, but this is a barrel pick. This is select is, is blend of same mash bill, different ages. This is fantastic. If you're in Knoxville, Tennessee, and you can get to D's Wine and Spirits, or wine and liquor. It, I think online it says D's wine, liquor, beer. Um, go by there and see if you can grab a bottle of this. Extremely good. Um, the notes that I'm getting out of it, it starts roasted deep dark fruit notes. Um, it's not too sweet. 
it's just right. And I, the wood notes on the side, it's got great legs on it, good oils in it. I get the oak on the side. I get a little conical pine, maybe some cedar in there as well. Lends itself over to some spices coming through. This is a fantastic, well-balanced bourbon. Mm. And the finish on it won't stop. Won't. It is long. This one, I would not put a cigar with. It would just overwhelm it. This one, I would. There, we have the cigar test. Would I put a cigar with it? Yes. No. All right. I would put any cigar with this. I don't know. I would have to shop around. Mm. Try different ones. See what holds up. Man, that thing is banging. Love this bourbon. And it's a store, you know, select. So, uh, like I said, sorry about y'all around the world and around places. But if you can get your hands on a bottle of this, this one I know is good. So, guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Apologize. Shorter video. But as always, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications. And I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.